In this video, you'll learn six reasons why we think that goats are the best animals to start a farm with. But before we start, I have a blog post about this topic. It's in the KK's blog category on my website and it's titled The Bountiful Benefits of Having Goats at a Farm. And guess what? This is a paper I submitted for school so I know it's grammatically correct. And it has a bibliography at the end of some really cool articles to check out. But anyway, on with the show. Goats are somewhat notorious for being escape artists, climbing trees, being mean and sometimes creepy, and eating cans, and basically everything else, but that's not all true. Ever hear the phrase, be careful little ears what you hear? Goats aren't mean at all. In our experience, no matter how shy they are, even if they have horns, they're pretty nice. Goats don't eat everything. Cans and paper plates and napkins and water bottles and you get the idea. But goats are curious and they like variety, but they don't eat trash. This myth probably came from some guy who saw his goats nibbling the glue off the can, by the way, not good for the goat, and said, you know what? Now I've seen everything. Goats eat cans, I'm gonna spread the word. And voila. Back to the subject, goats aren't that hard to take care of. Goats need food, water, and shelter, just like us, and a good big pasture is more than sufficient for a goat. Goats are choosy eaters, but pastures have multiple kinds of plants that the lovable ruminants can munch on. In fact, goats can even eat poison ivy and thistle. They like sweet feed, but if you want to learn more about that, watch my video about caring for goats on a new homestead. The only hurdle that goat owners really need to jump over is the fencing. Okay, so this is the fence I was talking about. We have the T-posts on the outside. We have it as low as we can get. We have wire here, here, and there used to be one at the top. Um, so if you're pushing on it, this is going to have some resistance. And this fence has been here for years. We've done a lot of improvements with it. And now it's a, a goat-proof fence. If we go somewhere else that isn't as developed, sometimes you can lift the fence up and that's how you know you need another t-post like I can't do it very much on here you definitely can't fit a baby goat therefore you don't need to worry about it if you zoned out a bit during that that's perfectly fine basically your t-posts need to be on the opposite side of the fence as the goats and the posts need to be within six feet of each other and the fence needs to be four feet high so the goats are super easy to take care of our second reason, my favorite reason, is the fact that goats are adorable and super friendly and wonderful and practically perfect in every way and fun and full of personality. Basically, goats are awesome and wonderful and perfect and good at being adorable. This is Pika, our one-eared wonder, who is one of the sweetest goats we have. She is about eight and loves being pet and eating and being Pika in front of a camera. She's a bit of a diva, but she's Pika. You can't say no to Pika. Basically, goats like sticking their nose right in front of the camera. Wait for it. There it is. They're also really good at looking shocked when they think you've caught them doing something. They have a huge personality and they're loads of fun. One tried and true method for making them friendly is coming to them slowly with a handful of sweet feet or goat treats. They'll come over, eat the treat, and eventually they'll get used to you doing it with nothing in your hand, like Troy's doing with Feely right now. Aww. Okay, that's enough of the goat adorableness for now. For now, don't worry, but we still have to go on to the other reasons. Reason number three is their ability to clear land like some sort of crazy self-sustaining brush mower. Goats love trees and leaves and weeds and grass and pretty much anything they can get their mouths on, so long as it's green and it's edible. They eat poison ivy, thistle, brush, and even raspberry bushes, and not to mention they love apples. Right now, I'm showing photos of before the goats cleared land and afterwards. You can really see the difference. We have now reviewed three of our six reasons, and the next three are some of the main reasons people get goats for food. Our fourth reason is meat. We recently brought our first weathers to the butcher, and Dad loves the meat. We can cook it like steak in the grill, use a slow cooker, etc. We might just make a future video about it. Reason number five is milk. I recently did a video about milking goats, click the link here, and I discussed why it's helpful and did a video about cheese making. Milk, especially from a goat, is full of vitamin A and calcium. Goat milk is usually hypoallergenic and more lactose tolerant. Although goat milk does have lactose, many people like me don't react in the same way. Here is the resulting product. 
we get about eight ounces from our goats at one time, but we have Nigerian dwarfs, so results may vary during because of breed type. Cheese can be made in many different ways, but they all use milk in production. To do this, you have to have a milking goat. This gives you the raw, pure milk that so many today are striving for. After that, you add a few things to the, che to the milk, and et voila, cheese. In addition to cheese, you can also make soap, ice cream, candles. There's so many possibilities, some of which might end up as being future videos. Goats arrived in America by different explorers, such as Christopher Columbus back in 1493. He took a route from the Pelos de Frontera in Huelva, Spain, to an island in the modern-day Bahamas, which he named San Salvador. Eventually, the goats found their way up to the Americas. In the 15 to 1600s, Spanish and English explorers slash settlers brought more goats for meat, milk, and if the goat was an angora, fur. Goats have always been sort of a all-in-one package for small-scale farmers, with their abundance of purposes. But it wasn't until 1904, at the first annual goat fair in St. Louis, that they actually gained their famed popularity. Well, that brings our trek to a close, but there are so many other reasons people have for raising goats. Feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and click like. Thank you!